Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a little bit since I made a video. I've kind of been a little off it. I've been doing a lot of work, but um, in this video, I have a really fun review that I'm actually super excited to do. I know it seems kind of weird to review a, well, power supply, but I'm actually super excited. I'm going to do mostly an unboxing and then kind of a sound test because um, what we're reviewing today is Silverstone's brand new FX500 Flex ATX power supply. Now, at the time of filming this review, as far as I know, this isn't available from retailers yet. It is going to be hitting the market soon. Um, I was actually sent this uh, by Silverstone early for a build that I'm going to be doing with it, and I thought I would give it a quick review and unboxing uh, on my channel, so we're going to unbox it. Now, the first thing I noticed, it's kind of a basic box, which is completely fine. It tells you what's in the box and what you're getting. It's very small because the power supply is small. We get a power cord, very simple some mounting screws obviously a manual as well as something else and then we just have our power supply unit and then that's everything inside the box so our unit is well it's wrapped in bubble wrap and that's pretty simple i think we can just slide it out and this is an amazing little power supply this is it this is the entire length and width of the PSU. This is a Flex ATX power supply. To my knowledge, one of the smallest, if not the smallest possible power supply, short of having an external power supply um, that has a huge power brick outside of your computer, this is the smallest internal power supply you can get in a standard form factor. Now I'm gonna unwrap our cables here because I really don't need to explore anything else. So this is a 500 watt, 80 plus gold unit, which is very impressive for a Flex ATX power supply. This is super impressive to me because the only model before this from Silverstone was the FX350, which is a 350 watt power supply. So up to 500 watts is a pretty big jump. And I'm actually super excited to use this power supply in my build. It is adorable. Now for our connectors, we have pretty bog standard connectors, a relatively short for good reason that this is Flex ATX. You're not putting this in a huge case. 24 pin motherboard connector. We have a dual daisy chained six plus two. So that is dual 8-pin GPU connectors, which is super nice to have considering the 350 only had one 6-pin um, because you're really not plugging too much in for 350 watts. Uh, we have our 8-pin motherboard connector as well as Molex uh, floppy connector, which actually can be used for a lot of different things, and SATA. So we have all of our connectors that we will need for a build. And that's part one of this video, which is just the unboxing, and it's just... Honestly, one of my favorite improvements is that over the FX350, Silverstone has actually ditched the ketchup and mustard cables and has instead gone with a nice uh, sleeved black cable. With that aside, let's actually get into a bit of a test. Now, with the FX350, there was actually kind of a fan noise problem where this tiny, what I believe is a 40 millimeter fan, is kind of whiny and loud. I don't really expect that to change too much, but I do want to do a fan noise test. And I have a system here that I think will be able to test that pretty well. This system has a Radeon RX Vega 64 blower edition. So that's a two, dual 8-pin GPU that we can actually test our graphics card with, our power supply with, as well as a Threadripper 1920X, 32 gigs of RAM on this um, Azeroc X399 Phantom motherboard. So it's a pretty box standard setup. And, and the reason I'm testing this with this really powerful system is because it should consume a lot of wattage at least enough to get this fan spinning up so i do just want to see how the noise is on this power supply so we're going to plug it in okay so i'm going to turn on the power supply and this is probably normal case scenario where the power supply and the whole computer is about across the desk from you especially with something like a flex atx system where it's definitely on the table but it'll probably be not right next to you probably be off toward the end of the table and this is a relatively small table so this should be fine we're going to turn this on and we're going to turn on our system and see what our fan sounds like Now, you can definitely hear fan noise, but I can actually assure you that most of the fan noise that I can hear is coming from our Vega 64. Now, that is the blower style cooler, not exactly the best card for testing a sound on a, G on a power supply, but the power supply's fan is not too whiny. Now, I'm being honest, this may not be the best test that you could possibly have, but I just do not have a test system currently, and I want to get my other build done, so I thought I'd do a quick review, because I was actually looking on Reddit, because it's actually a pretty popular little power supply, and I was lucky enough that Silverstone offered to send me one uh, for my build, so I thought I would give it a quick review and just say, yeah, 
here's the thing. I don't think the fan noise is going to get too much better, but I can assure you that from what I hear right now, although the fan is a little whiny, it's not terrible. And I'm definitely excited to use this in my build, and I don't think it'll be the loudest part of my system. But that's the point. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.